Hi guys, this is Bhagat, and I'm bringing you another video, another video commentary on paintings that I've recorded uh, previously. So um, these have been sped up quite a bit, uh, I think four or five times. Uh, anyway, let's get into it. So this this I actually recorded while I was uh, finishing up Hari Singh Nalwa, just adding details to his uh, clothing, to his armor, right? Like right now I'm painting the kada. I'm painting a really thick kada. This, this kada I actually own. I actually own this kada in real life. Uh, it, it, so I'm just, I'm just using that because I, I actually really like that kada. Uh, I, I don't wear it anymore, but I think it's really cool. It's really big, it's really heavy. And uh, it's great. It's great to just you know show off, but it's not so good when you're trying to paint with it. So when I'm painting the the gauntlet, so yeah, you know just adding detail. I'm using reference for this. Uh, I've got you know I've got images of ancient armor, ancient armors with me, and you know I'm just. Basically copying it, and then here I've, you know you can see one that I already did previously because I started I started recording this you know when I was almost done I'm like ah, I should I should have recorded it when I was working on it. It's also uh, my computer is kind of slow you know when I record it I can't uh, when I record it slows down my computer so it's hard to paint you know my computer is ten years old so when you're trying to record it and paint at the same time it's kind of a pain. So I did it for the stuff that I could do easily uh, with a slow computer. So here I'm doing the, I'm just, you know, you see me trying to figure it out because it's, it's not easy for me to do this uh, and, you know, have that armor curve around. It's kind of hard to paint designs that curve around surfaces. So it takes a while to figure it out. Now I'm painting the, uh, chest plate uh, doing the same design on the chest you can see the designs on the sword show up right so, so a lot of detail in this painting like a lot like really ornate sword really ornate armor I mean it's, it's no wonder this painting took years like I mean there's just a lot of work involved in getting it to look the way it does right now uh, you know, I contacted this this guy, uh, Davinder Singh, and he collects these things for himself. He has lots of photos, and he actually provided me the photos for the for the chest and the sword, and the you know the gauntlet. He actually provided all those images and the helmet as well. Yeah, just you know, it's just a lot of rendering, rendering out the values on the design, making it pop, right? Using lighter values to make it come forward, using darker values to push it back. Right. So now I'm gonna do the edge, the rim of it. Yeah, I rely heavily on references because I don't really know like what you know these what Hudson Lobo might have worn. So I have to guess. I have to use armors and stuff from that period of time and try to incorporate those designs and those motifs into my paintings. And the best the best way I can do that is is by adding lots of detail because it really I think it really adds a lot to the painting. Lots adds you know a lot of richness to the painting. Right, this is a, this is a common design pattern. It's like a wavy, uh, it's a wavy pattern. It's like a wavy uh, tree branch or something, and there's flowers. As it as it curves, there's a flower at each curve, and there's leaves and you know all kinds of stuff. I don't paint it in detail here, right? Because I don't want to be. Uh, it's just a lot of work to paint it, so I I kind of hint at it though. Uh, you know that it does that that it's a flower that it you know there's a vine there with leaves here I'm painting chainmail so I've got a I've got a pre like a like a brush 
where I just painted in the the chains. You know, just C's, C's, forward C's, backward C's. I've just painted that in, made it into a brush, and stamped it. Now I'm going to go in and actually render out the individual chains. So, you know, again, push and pull, right? So I'm using lighter values to bring it out, darker values to push it back. Right, and you'll see me do this. You'll see me draw it here. Look, so I'm drawing all the C's because I can't use that that brush here because that brush is uh, uh, won't work because this is curved. So and so I draw that pattern in, then I copy it. Then you'll see me copy and paste, copy paste this pattern everywhere, and then I'll go over the pattern to make sure it all fits. So I'm, you know, and I'm using the warp tool, edit transform warp. I'm using that tool to, you know curve the the chain mill around the the legs and the waist so i'm just going to copy paste that whole pattern that i created pretty much all over the wherever it needs to be along that whole uh near the waist near the below the kamar kasa and now i'm going to go over it you know it was a bit light so i darkened it and now i'm going to start painting on top of that Okay, apparently not, so I do work on this first. Yeah, so this is, that's one of the things I do. I keep jumping. I, I jump a lot from part to part, because I get bored with one part, and I work on something else, and then I come back to it uh, when I, you know, when I'm, when it feels fresh again. So I, I, I tend to do that a lot. So, you know, this, this, this part of the painting, we started uh, a lot, like a while ago. We did it. We, I showed this part right in the beginning of the video, and here I am painting it again. Because I didn't finish it then, uh, so you know I jumped, jumped to the other parts, finished those, and I'm going back to this, work on this again. All right? Yeah, these, this is the very final stage of the painting. Right? I leave this to the end because I don't know how that arm is going to sit there. I don't know how, like I don't know the lighting yet. I don't know composition yet. Once I figure out all those things, the values, the composition, the lighting, the uh, the position, the pose, once I figure that out, then I go and add that, add in, add in the detail. So here, there's the things that connect the gauntlet pieces together. And here's the earrings. I'm adding blue in the earrings. There's very little blue everywhere else in the painting. So I'm adding blue here because I want to bring the attention to the viewer's face. And there's some blue in the ring too. There's some blue in the ring on his hand. Uh, that's about it. So that's all I recorded. And I hope you guys enjoyed a little trip. Well, I certainly enjoyed the trip down memory lane. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the painting process. The detailing process, to be more specific. This is the detailing process. It's very much like uh, actually drawing. It's, it's, it's more like drawing than painting. Because I'm actually just drawing the designs and then meshing that into the armor that that I have underneath. And uh, yeah, so you know, hope that hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.